Union City Borough continues to invest in its future, even these challenging times. Yeah, and our Lisa Adams spent time in Union City today. She is here tonight in our studio. And, you know, in Union City, Lisa, they're poised to award a big uh, construction bid um, as early as tomorrow. Tell us a little bit more about that. That's right, they're ready to award a bid on their gateway project. A nonprofit, Union City Pride, just received one bid for this job. At a special meeting tomorrow, they will vote on whether to accept it. It's about tearing down an old diner to make way for a new gateway into Union City. First impressions matter and Union City leaders have decided this old diner at Main and High Street is not what people entering their borough should see. It has not been in use for over 20 years. It's not handicap accessible, so nobody's been able to do anything to it to revitalize it. It's deteriorated in structure, so it's going to have to be torn down. Neighbors like the sound of that. Me and my crew are pretty excited. Um, it has been an eyesore for a long time, so we're looking forward to something nice being done with it. I think it'll be a lot nicer than, you know, having a rundown diner. When the Gateway project is finished, it will transform those first impressions with a plaza-like look and improvements to the building next door. To continue to make visible improvements to Union City and be an attraction for people, whether it be residential or business, to want to do business here. We have had several new businesses open and just the last few months. At the same time, Union City is investing much in its image and its new gateway. There's no denying that it's still tough times economically, especially for service businesses. Just outside of town already, Madonna's restaurant has closed and this weekend will be the last for the retro eatery. I do believe that part of the reason they're closing is because of the long-term effects of, of COVID and the shutdown in 2020. That definitely that really hurt a lot of businesses, and I think they're still feeling the effects of that. But the focus is on moving forward. We want that intersection to be a visible, um, attractive intersection. So we'll find out tomorrow if that bid is awarded. Grant money, they say, is coming in faster than expected for the project from the Department of Economic and Community Development, from ECRA, and from the Erie and Union City Community Foundations. If that bidder gets the job tomorrow, work will start in July. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.